going to pass this off to Mike to do another live demo for us. Thank you, Chris. Um, we're just going to pot a material using QSO 550LV. Uh, LV stands for low viscosity. Um, as Chris mentioned, covering up all your air passages uh, for this box, we use the one component material to add a hole in the box for the wires to come through. A one component RTV just to seal it up so it won't have any leaks because leaks are a big deal. Um, just a couple of examples of the one part and the control you have on the size of the bead. So you can have a little bit of material or a lot of material depending on the amount of pressure you put on the trigger when you're dispensing the material. I had mentioned dispensing the box on its side. So we tilt it up on its side, that way you have air underneath the box or underneath the board actually. So you want to dispense the 550, the QSO 550 LV at the lowest point. You just take your time. And as the material flows in, it'll flow underneath the board. And of course, air will move out of its way and run toward the top. And just continue at the lowest point of the board. Again, this is an extremely low viscosity material. There's good thermal conductivity and it'll just easier if you have very, very small air gaps or air spaces under the components, it makes it easily removes the air and replaces it with silicone. As Chris mentioned, you know, air can be an enemy to electronics. Once you see the silicone coming out from under the board, you can level it off. Just because all the air is out from under the board, there could be a little bit of air under the components, so you could leave it up on its side. Um, but once all the air, you don't see any air bubbles, you can put it flat and uh, just continue to fill and fill it up to the recommended level. This is just a box that we had potted, you know, before previously. And um, another box we potted the other day, just to give you an example of a finished product. Thank you very much. And let's get back to Chris Martin for case studies.